Hi, welcome to the Rise Up and Live YouTube channel. My name is Kelly Rissi and I'm the owner of Rise Up and Live Wellness. During these videos, you will hear things about health, life, and mindset to help you live your best life, such as how to decrease and manage stress, how to get better sleep, how to set boundaries, how to eat mindfully, how to build confidence, how to live spiritually, and so much more. So thanks for joining and I hope you enjoy my To The Points. Hi, everybody. So I want to start by saying that we made it through 20 stress management tips. And then full transparency, I got super busy, wasn't home, basically didn't calendar it and things got in the way. So you got 20 of them, which is awesome because honestly, if you put all 20 of the tips into place, you would be reducing your stress and managing it extremely well. So there's that. Now, let's move on with what I want to talk about today. How good are you at listening to your body, to your internal body cues or external body cues? You know, it's interesting because I feel like when we grew up, we knew to, li to listen and to feel the external, but we never really, you know, were taught to deal with the internal per se. And we got good at being busy and ignoring what was going on, right? Like you just had to go to school. That was it. So ignore the pains, go to school. And we continue that into can't take off a day, can't take a day off work. So we have to just push everything down, ignore it and keep moving on. And yet our body is so good at telling us exactly what we need. I mean, our body is like the best instrument that we have. And so I want to look at that kind of some tips into healing our body. So instead of running to the, um, you know, extra strength Tylenol when we have aches and pains or the caffeine when we're tired, things like that, like how can we really listen to our body? Now, I'm not saying that we don't need some of those things and, you know, you know what I'm saying? We're just like balancing things out here. So let's, you know, if we can decrease any medications and increase awareness and healing it on our own, how awesome would that be? So a couple things in order to do this one, you just have to have some quiet time. You need to have quiet time every, every day, whether it's in the morning, whether it's in the evening, a break during the day so that you can truly turn in, tune into your body and do that body scan, right? So really just closing your eyes and feeling where are the aches and pains, the discomfort in your body. And as you do that, you can start breathing into the places that are causing you pain. You can intentionally breathe in focusing your breath on that space. So like if you're, you know, if you have tension up here in your neck, right? As you're breathing, you can focus on expanding that space with your breath. We can direct our breath where we want it to go. So that's really cool. The other thing that we can do that will help as we're breathing is to kind of give our aches and pains, whatever's bothering us in our body, wherever we in that body scan, where we feel that tension, we can give it a voice. What is it trying to say to us? right? So often when we have neck pain, it's asking us who or what is being a pain in the neck. And when you ask that question and give this a voice, it will tell you exact, your unconscious mind will tell you exactly what you need to let go of. So if you're having, um, you know, your arms, right? If you're, they're having pain in your arms, what are you holding on to or embracing that needs to be released? So we can give these areas a voice, our body a voice, and listen to what it says. The coolest thing about our unconscious mind also is that it knows complete health. It knows the perfect blueprint of your body. We just need to listen to it. And that means we need to slow down, get into that quiet space, do some breathing, give our aches and pains, headaches, whatever that is, a voice, and your unconscious mind will tell you exactly what you need. Isn't that fascinating? So it is time for us to slow down, listen to our body, take cues from our body. And if it wants us to rest and relax, 
that's what we need to do. If our body is telling us, mm, it's been a while since you've exercised, then that's what we need to do, right? So it's 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 never one, it's not always what rest and relax. Sometimes it's get up and move, right? I know that for me, there are times my hip flexors can start screaming. Why? I'm sitting too much. It's like, hey, you need to get up and walk around. You are sitting too much. You are on the computer too much, things like that, right? So so listen to your body. That's what I have to say today. Would love to hear if you already do that. What are some things that you do? Or what are you just noticing in your body? Like comment below. I told you like I carry tension here, so I really have to be aware of what's going on. When my hip flexors start hurting, I gotta get up and move. Um, I will say that um, I was having some elbow pain and interestingly enough, it wasn't coming from my elbow, coming from my shoulder. Why? Because I'm rounded over and hunched all day long like this. So really like getting my shoulders back, dropping down, breathing, and then it gets better. So I have to listen to the cues. All right, that is it. Have a great night and I will see you all next week. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear more health, life, and mindset tricks and tips, I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also check me out on social media and my website at www.riseupandlivewellness.com. Have a great day.